Hey there, yoga family. Kia Williams here coming at you with another yoga tutorial. So this tutorial is all about the Ashtanga base jump back. So we've done a tutorial before on the path through going from downward facing dog to seated and I'll provide a link to that below this in the description if you want to check that video out. But today we're going to go in the reverse and I believe the reverse is a little bit harder. Truth be told, I am not an Ashtanga practitioner. I just play one on TV sometimes because I like the practice and I've never been able to master this transition without the use of some assistance. So I say all that to say that wherever you are in this process, whether you get to the full out version of this or you never do, it's all okay. We're doing this to strengthen ourselves and to have a little bit of fun in the process. So keeping with this idea of playing and having fun, I'm gonna talk about a couple of the benefits of this practice and demonstrate a few ways of doing it no matter what your ability level or experience is at this moment. All right, so in terms of benefits, when we're doing a pass through, basically what we're going from is from seated and we're gonna pass back to chaturanga up to upward facing dog and then to downward facing dog. Common transition getting from seated back to downward facing dog, all right? So we're strengthening all of the muscles in the upper body here. So obviously we're gonna be using our shoulders and our chest and our arms to help hold us and draw our feet through, but we're also going to be engaging some very important muscles in the core, specifically the deep low abs. Because in Ashtanga practice, we're working on engaging two very important bandhas in this practice. We're working on uh, Uddiyana Bandha, which is navel drawing into the spine and engaging the deep low abs. When we have really toned and strong deep low abs, then we're able to hold our posture better, we're able to keep our pelvis in alignment and avoid some of those problems that we have with pull discs and plantar fasciitis, all kinds of things that get tightened up because we sway our back out too much or tuck our pelvis in too much. So we're gonna be aligning that when we engage this particular bandha or lock, Uddiyana bandha, navel to spine. The other bandha that we're gonna be working with is a little more subtle. It's mula bandha. So these are the muscles of the pelvic floor that are very important specifically as we age to keep our control of our bladder, right? So incontinence becomes an issue when our pelvic floor muscles get really loose. And when we engage them, then we tone them, we bring a little bit more strength to them. And in terms of this practice, it helps us get that little extra lift we need to get our hips off the ground and our feet underneath of us. All right, so let's get into a few ways of doing it. So I'm gonna use my trusty blocks here, <laughs> and we're gonna start on our bum, all right? So the first practice that we're gonna do is we're gonna work on tolasana, which is really um, a preliminary posture to moving through this transition. Now, if you have any tension in your neck or shoulders, we'll do this posture the second way and not this first option, okay? So the first option is just to bring your blocks your hands on your blocks right next to your hips. We're gonna cross one ankle over the other and keep your toes down on the floor. And then what we're gonna do is press into the blocks and try to get the hips off the ground, all right? So some of us might be able to do this without blocks if you have really long arms and a really short torso, it's really easy. But if you don't, then you use the blocks to give you a little bit of length and you're gonna just kind of push up and bring your hips off the mat. There's a modified version of Tulasana. Right? So the second option, if you do have any neck tension, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna bring your blocks a little bit in front of you. You're still gonna keep your ankles crossed and we're gonna try to tip ourselves forward like we wanna stand up. So you're gonna rock back and then exhale. Tip yourself forward, really curl into a little ball here and then come back down. I call that posture get off the couch asana because that's the musculature that you need in order to get off a really deep, sinky, cushy couch and come to standing. All right, so next option, we're gonna walk our feet through. So we're gonna start with our blocks always in front of our hips. See how far my arms are reaching here. We're gonna lift our feet to get a little momentum. And then on an exhale, we're gonna rock forward and then we're gonna walk our feet <laughs> underneath of us until we come into plank, right? And you can choose to go through this whole vinyasa thing if you'd like to, but that's the long and short of it. Now, more advanced option. If you have worked through the walking the feet back, you've worked through Talasana and modified Talasana, now we're gonna try for the whole Monty, right? So we're gonna try to bring our feet underneath of us and land in a low plank. Here we go. We're gonna rock back, cross the ankles, 
and we're gonna go for it. And then finish yourself out in your vinyasa. All right, so that's the long and short of it. Use your blocks. If you have blocks, you can always go into your studio or into your gym and find blocks there most likely. Practice it, play with it. Someone once told me that it takes over a thousand tries just to get the momentum and the muscle memory to do this difficult transition. So be nice to yourself and just have fun with it. If you have any questions about it, I'd love to answer them. Drop me a question or comment in uh, the comment section below. If you have any questions about other postures that we do, please don't hesitate to ask me. I'd love to make you another yoga tutorial about it. In the meantime, hope you have fun with this and I will see you around soon. Take care. Hey, Yoga Mama, thanks so much for watching my video. But if you like more simple tips to help you juggle your busy life as mom, I have just the thing for you. I've just created a brand new video that's specifically designed for moms who have a lot on their must-do list, but could use some practical tips to help them do motherhood with more ease and joy. Now, I've done my research and my own personal yoga practice, and I've come up with a simple three-step system that I use all the time to help me increase my energy, improve my focus, and decrease my stress. And that's exactly what you'll learn in this free video. Now, the really cool thing about this yoga-based system is that each step can take less than 10 minutes, and you don't need a yoga mat, stretchy yoga pants, you don't even need to be alone to make these strategies work in your life. Now, sign, you can sign up for this free, totally free video by going to nourish-motherhood.com forward slash video and start feeling the peace, balance, and ease that you deserve to feel in your mom life. See you around.